coming up, teachers go bananas for their students' safety. And eighth graders get their first look at freshman year. Frisco ISD TV starts now. Welcome to Frisco ISD TV. I'm Sam Stocker. And I'm Jamie Miller. Thanks for joining us. In It's Elementary, My Dear, there are lots of little monkeys swinging on the bars. But some fell off and broke their arms. Here's Erica Mackler with the story. Some kids at this elementary school have to stop monkeying around at recess. Due to recent broken arms at Bloodsoe Elementary, kindergarten and first graders have been banned from the monkey bars. We decided since there were so many accidents and not a lot of kids that have practiced monkey bars that it just wasn't safe for them to use them right now. It just come to my attention over the last couple of years that we seem to be having more and more broken arms. And so when we really began to look at it and look at the age of the student and um, when this was happening, uh, we determined that most of it was happening with our kindergarten and first graders and uh, from the monkey bars. So it really was a pretty easy decision. These young students seem to understand why their hang time is off limits. People might get hurt. You might fall off and hit your head. Lots of people have broke their arms. It's okay for first grade because some people might not know how to use them, so they should, you should let them have time to learn how and then they could do it. School staff can get that monkey off of their back knowing their students are safe. They are safe at recess and they have other options to play and we have fewer broken bones now. We feel like this is definitely keeping them safer. We have not had any broken arms since we've made that decision. Although the rules for recess have changed, it hasn't stopped the students from having fun. I'm Erica Mackler for Frisco ISD TV. I remember when I was a freshman. High school seemed so big back then. Yeah, I was skinny and nerdy. Not much has changed, has it, Sam? Now a new group of students are being prepped to become freshmen. Jemai Harris has more on Frisco's newest fish in the middle of it all. After each school year, students make the transition from one grade to the next. These eighth graders are definitely climbing to a higher level. They're making a fresh start and becoming young men and women. It's a completely different atmosphere than it is when they're in middle school. And so really the transition from middle school to high school is one of the hardest transitions there is. Well, there's uh, you know, an exponential increase in the number of students essentially also from what they were used to in the eighth grade. So they need to be flexible, and they need to be able to adapt, and that's, that's the main thing. From middle to high school, parents have to let go and allow students to take the reins. Very much that independent expectation. Um, parents have uh, less control. They're not in the mix as much. The students need to be their own advocate. They need to be prepared. They need to know what's happening. And so um, it's a transition. Uh, the kids who aren't involved in a current class that is uh, a high school credit class don't feel the standard yet that they're going to be held to in high school. And then we're trying to reinforce that with these students so that they are not in shock and they have a habit that they can um, carry over to high school. Teachers at both the middle and high school levels work hard to make the transition a little easier for students. The high school curriculum is, is pretty much vertically aligned with the middle schools. That's something that the district has been working towards the past couple of years. When they're in middle school, they're kind of exposed to uh, a little bit of everything. They do have some background when they get here, which is nice, but what we really do when they get to the ninth grade is we expand on uh, that knowledge base. And so while they may have you know, a very generalized knowledge of it, you know, we take that general knowledge and go into much more depth. While there are exciting new things to look forward to, a common fear is shared among the rising freshmen. I'm nervous about like the classes and if I'll get lost in the building or something. The A and B days, having to know which class to go on which day. I'm afraid that I might be late to a lot of classes because I won't know where the room is. Finding my classes, that's what I seem like. like the school seems so much bigger than Griffin. I'm really excited about theater and um, 
broadcast, of course, and I'm also going to be on the swim team. Being able to have a bunch of friends and be able to get to see um, some of the kids that I haven't seen since sixth grade. The transition from middle to high school can be a big one for students, but hopefully they'll find out it's not as scary as it seems. My advice to incoming freshmen is to not stress out because there's going to be a lot of work that you have to do and a lot of obstacles you have to overcome, but just have fun with high school and take it as it comes at you. I'm Jemai Harris for Frisco ISD TV. Students at Centennial are playing in cold water. Alyssa Herzog has them warming up in higher learning. Sophomores from Centennial High School banded together to take their music to a higher level. And it all started with a school competition. Solo and ensemble is always really fun. You have to do a solo or an ensemble. The ensembles are like clarinet choirs and brass choirs and stuff. And you can also do a sax quartet like we did, which is four saxophones. We had the opportunity to go to state. And that was a lot of fun working on it. We got to play a really hard song that our lesson teacher didn't play until he was in college. And we pulled it off and got a one at state, which is pretty hard. And it was really fun, so we just kept doing it. The competitions, it really shows how much effort we put into it, and it just makes us better players. They seem to be in tune with their present status as musicians. I was thinking of pursuing a musical career, but I'm still in high school, so it might change, but this might, this might make me a better musician and help me for that. Until I graduate from high school, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing, going to solo ensemble and doing good there and doing gigs in the mall. Their interest in saxophone started in middle school, and their former director has kept up with their beat. They're really good in middle school. They're just, they're just outstanding now. I'm really excited that they chose to do that. It's, it's something that we always talk to the students about, you know, playing for fun and getting together and, and doing things. Because once they learn how to play their instruments, it's, it's a whole new world for them to be able to experiment and explore. So I'm really proud of them for being able to do that. Coldwater Creek seems to enjoy the jazzy mood. I really enjoy having the group play. It, it lends a little bit different music instead of the music that we all hear when you go into every other store at the mall. While these students love to compete, performing in a relaxed atmosphere brings them together, allowing them to play music for others to enjoy. I'm Alyssa Herzog for Frisco ISD TV. Here at the CTE Center, future teachers get a chance to work with current students. This is a program that gives new meaning to education and high-tech happenings. The students at the Career and Technical Education Center's Practicum and Educational Practice class have been hard at work teaching kids and helping educators. Yeah. The program provides a way for high school students to gain a hands-on experience working with children in real classroom environments through instruction, lesson planning, grading, and assisting licensed teachers. The students get a feel for what the educational field is really like. The class is very selective, accepting only a few dozen applicants out of hundreds each year. The prerequisites include at least a year of child or education-related high school classes. Transportation is also a must. Students have to get to their campuses on time and on their own. Only two days out of an ordinary five-day week are spent at the CTE Center, with the remaining three devoted to on-site work at elementary and middle school campuses. The course does not neglect the more demanding duties of teaching, which sometimes means students need to devote long hours to prepare coursework and grade papers, in addition to projects assigned in class. For the aspiring educator, practicum and educational practice is a dream come true, but that dream is tempered by the very real work of a difficult job. I'm Morgan Yarnick for Frisco ISD TV. Senior citizens were honored for their years given to the community with lunch at Staley Middle School. Sydney Gray has the dish as we flash back to this annual event. Frisco seniors went back to middle school for lunch, serving as honorees at the district's annual holiday event. Well, I think this is really a great time for like everybody in the Frisco family to come together and. I think it's really great. They may not be the seniors you were thinking of, however, some see them as grand. I believe it's terrific, I believe it's a good way to join. Expressing uh, a lot of thanks, especially for us, all elderly people, mm -hmm. because now, not only our children, our grandchildren attend the school, like I was myself. 
Holiday music was heard throughout the crowd as conversations flowed between all ages. The event seems to have an impact on attendees, and it keeps them coming year after year. I was off work, and uh, we thought it would be a great time to come. We'd heard it was a great event, and uh, we just thought we'd come up here and enjoy the fellowship. So we came the first year, and it's been 17 years. Students were all smiles about serving seasoned members of the community. We go around and we take their food for them to the table and we give them a place to sit and um, then we just go around refilling their drinks. We've been doing a lot. We've been serving them drinks and taking them, you know, whatever they need, like napkins and plates and food and stuff. I was talking to my principal from elementary school and I haven't seen her in years and it's nice to see a bunch of happy older people from Frisco and it's just nice to have the feeling that you helped them today and it's just fun. In its 32nd year, this event is a long-standing tradition at Staley Middle School. It's a way of honoring our senior citizens. Um, they, there's a lot of famous folks here that have buildings named after them and uh, it's just Frisco ISD's way of honoring them and their accomplishments. It shows appreciation to the elderly, being thankful for them, for what they have done. And uh, because, you know, uh, the students right now that are going right through, right, steady right now, someday we're probably taking our place and doing what we're doing now. I'm Sydney Gray for Frisco ISD TV. That wraps up this episode of Frisco ISD TV. Join us next time as CTE students learn how to respond to an emergency. And kids teach kids at Elliott Elementary. I'm Sam Stalker. And I'm Jamie Miller. Thanks for watching.